Jesus is visiting his other sheep in the New World. It's been a big day, jam-packed with awe-inspiring experiences and soul-stretching teachings. Maybe we need a break, get some rest, and I'll come back tomorrow. No, 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 no we're, we're fine. fine. Just a little longer. Please, please don't go. Understandably, the people don't want to miss a second with their savior. Also, there are some other, other people I need to visit. Please, 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 don't, please go. don't go. Please. Well... Jesus' ministry in Judea was three whole years, and all that information will be crammed into just a handful of days here in the New World. Jesus knows the people are on information overload and need a break to get a snack, sleep, and ponder things. And he has instructions from Heavenly Father for him to go and visit the lost tribes of Israel. At the same time, the people don't want to miss a second with him. They can't bear to see him go. But the universe is on a tight schedule. God is busy, right? He's way too busy for... Actually, no. God is never too busy for any of us. He isn't driven by clocks or to-do lists. Jesus is driven by his love for God and for us. And so, Jesus stays. Are there any sick among you? Bring them to me. I will heal all of you. After he heals them, he asks them to bring their little children too. Uh, Mom, where are all those glowing people coming down from the sky? Are they coming to play? Wow, to top off this marvelous day, angels come down and over 2,500 people see them. Now shortly after, Jesus teaches about the sacrament and how powerful it can be in our lives. As we partake of the bread and wine or water, we're testifying to the Father that we remember the Son, and so we're blessed with the Spirit. We're also telling God that we'll do what He asks of us, and this commitment builds a foundation that will help us weather any storm that life throws at us. But what if someone, maybe even us, has trouble staying on the right path. Should they be allowed in church? Of course. Should they stay away until they're super righteous? No way. Jesus says that all are invited and no one should be cast out. We pray for those who struggle keeping the commandments rather than condemn them. Jesus wants us to light the world with his light. And with Jesus as our light, we'll see the world and others as he sees them. Hey and people will be drawn to him, not us. Wow, what a day! Now that night, instead of resting, many people ran around spreading the word that Jesus had come. Extra, extra, late edition, read all about it. Jesus came and he's coming back tomorrow. Come to Bountiful and see for yourself. The next day is also packed with amazingness. The 12 disciples are baptized and receive the Holy Ghost. Then all the people join in prayer. Mom, where's Jesus going? I guess he wants a little privacy when he talks to Heavenly Father. Wow, Jesus kneels when he prays. Three times Jesus goes off by himself to pray to the Father, first with gratitude, then for the disciples, and then for everyone who will listen to them. Wow, what an example of how to pray. Nephi tries to record everything that happens during Jesus' visit, but his final prayer is so glorious that words can't describe it. What might Jesus have said? During Jesus' visit, the people are overcome with joy as they understand his love for them, his love for us. But what about him? What makes him feel joy? Well, we find out after one of his prayers. Wow, Jesus, 
is crying. Is he sad? No, I think he's very happy. Blessed are ye because of your faith. And now behold, my joy is full. So, our faith makes him happy. And in these chapters, he points out what kinds of faith make him happy. Faith to want him in our lives. Faith in his power. Faith to make commitments to God. Faith to pray. Faith to be a light to others. That's how we hug him back. And his visit isn't over yet. Stay tuned for more. Did you know that Living Scripture Streaming, kind of like Netflix for LDS families, provides the funds to create these line-upon-line -line cartoons? Every subscription helps make them possible. And did you know Living Scripture Streaming has Sunday mode? Now, most of us like a nice Sunday nap, right? Mom, can we binge some Netflix? Well, Living Scripture Streaming Sunday Mode enables only spiritually uplifting shows, so you can truly enjoy your day of rest. We hope this presentation has helped to bring you a little closer to Jesus Christ. Now it's your turn to study and continue to learn line upon line. So. Go read your scriptures.